We have another story about fundamentalism coming out of Bangladesh. Of course, uh, last week or two weeks ago, there were vicious terror attacks against atheists and liberals. Uh, and now we have this, quote, A court in southern Bangladesh sentenced two Hindu school teachers to six months in jail for making abusive remarks about Islam that led a mob to attack their school, a magistrate said Tuesday. The head teacher and another staff member were found guilty of hurting the religious sentiments of Muslim students and their parents. The comment sparked protests by students, most of whom are Muslim, and angry villagers descended on the school seeking to beat up the teachers before being stopped by police. They have made abusive comments, here's a quote, they have made abusive comments about Islam and the Prophet Muhammad during a class session, said Magistrate Anwar Parvez, uh, who handed down the verdict Monday after the teachers pleaded guilty. Okay, stop and think about this. Because this is the entire problem of fundamentalism rolled into one story here. They were found guilty of, I repeat, hurting the religious sentiments of Muslim students and their parents. Yeah, here's what's not a real crime. That. In fact, you know what the crime is? The mob coming to beat them up after the fact. See, hurting religious sentiments is something I like to call logic. Hurting religious sentiments is something I like to call free speech. If you don't like it, you can fuck right off. See, I'm not legally forced to agree with you when you spew mythological bullshit. So you come talking to me about Muhammad riding a winged donkey to heaven, I'm going to tell you to go fuck a goat. Because that's nonsense. I don't believe that. I think that's stupid. And I think it's stupid that you believe it. So... If me saying that gets me locked up and gets me a jail sentence when you come to beat me up, well, that's just further evidence that I'm right. You want to know why? Your punk ass, your bitch ass can't handle the truth, so you have to resort to violence. See, if you were really correct, you know what you could tell me? No, no, no. I know I'm right. Here's how I'm right. Let me prove it to you. And then, whatever. Here's an article that mentions it with scientific data that backs it up. No, but that doesn't exist. You're so immensely wrong and you're so ridiculous as a human being that you get offended when I point out how silly your beliefs are, and you attack me, and then I get jail time. No, this is as unjust as it gets. And honestly, this reminds me of fundamentalists all across the world. We see this, for example, Iran, Saudi Arabia. These are places they're Islamist regimes. Now, obviously, it's varying degrees, and in some ways, some are worse than others, so on and so forth. But... You have right-wing Islamists in those countries that when you have somebody, for example, who's a Muslim but a liberal Muslim and they have a different interpretation of Islam, in Saudi Arabia they say that's actually illegal. It's illegal to have a liberal interpretation of the holy book. They say uh, in Iran, is right-wing Islamists get offended when you say, hey, maybe we shouldn't jail gays. Not, we're not even talking about gay marriage here. We're talking about maybe you just shouldn't jail them. I'm so offended, you've offended the prophet and you've offended me and my religion. No, 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 no. Look at the trick they're doing. As they victimize you, they claim that they're the victim. That's what's happening here. As they put down everybody around them, they claim that they are offended and they are under attack and they are the victims. It's the oldest trick in the book, man. You know, we've seen it here with fundamentalist Christians. Go look at any P Pat Robertson episode and he'll lay it out for you. Oh, Christian ideology is under attack. There's a war on Christianity in the country. And what's his reasoning? Because we treat gays equally now. War on Christianity. No, no, no. You are waging the war on gays. That's what's happening. When they defend themselves, you're not under attack. It's not offensive against you. It's not putting you down. It's not suppression of your rights. Look at this. It's exactly what this is. Teachers express their rights, express their, their beliefs. Hey, I don't believe in religion. Hey, I think that this is not true. I think it's silly. You've offended the sensibilities of my religion, so I will lock you up. And a mob comes to beat them up. The mob doesn't get the time. Let me repeat. The mob doesn't get time in jail. The mob does not. The mob is free to go. Because you had it coming. Because you said, hey, your prophet's bullshit, and I don't believe it. The moral system is just twisted. The legal system is twisted. No. People are allowed to say whatever the fuck they want to say, and if you don't like it, you can get over it. And guess what? You have a right to insult atheism. I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong. 
but you can insult me and guess what? I'm not going to come with a mob to beat you up. Why? I'm confident in my beliefs. I'm not insecure in them. So I know I'm right. And I know I'm going to win in the realm of ideas. So I don't need to beat you up because see, I can beat you in a debate and a discussion, something you can't do.